Good morning, Passport Bros. I'm back with another video. I'm out here in a resort uh, out here in Lagos, Nigeria. It's two hours away from like the you know, Auburn area. So it's uh, it's on the water, it's on the Atlantic Ocean. It's about six acres. So I'm, I'm on a resort and I said, you know, let me do a, a video because you know, when you live life outside of the U.S., when you become a passport, bro, life changes for you. Life opens up, you know. And I, and I keep telling your brothers, I keep advising your brothers, is find your country. Find where you want to go. You might not like where I'm at. You don't have to like it. I don't care if you like it. I'm here and I'm benefited from it. You know, I'm in Nigeria. A lot of people are scared to come to Nigeria still because of the Western brainwash. I love it here, you know. I moved here in December, you know. I work remote, I have a lot going on. And I have access to whatever I want, you know, everything, the life, uh, better cost of living, you know, anti-wokeness, beautiful feminine woman. And it leads me to my topic today is, I remember when I was in my 20s, I used to love subscribing to the GQ magazine. I subscribed to the GQ magazine for a long time, for a very long time. As you guys can see, it's tropical. You can see the palm trees. This is a whole resort. Look at, you see these huts? This is where we stay and they're equipped. They got, I'm staying in a two bedroom. You know, I'm here with my brother. Um, as you can see, you see, you see over there, you see the duck. You see the duck over there by the water, on this, by the swimming pool. Yeah, I'm staying in that hut right there, see that? But it's big on the inside. It's big on the inside, they got everything here. They got horses. See that horse? They got horses in the mug. I can, just, I can just get on that horse and just go, you know? I used to subscribe to the GQ magazine back in the day. I used to get GQ magazines every month. Um, I used to love the part where you open up and you smell the new cologne. Good morning. How are you? Where you, where you smell the cologne and, and you just want to buy that mug. You just want to buy that mug. Like, damn, uh, this cool water, man. This this Aqua de Joe, you know what I'm saying? Uh, back in the day, man, I used to love GQ magazine. We used to see new fashion, celebrities wearing new clothes. See what GQ just came up with. They had stories. They had, you know, designer, you know, editors where you you read the stories of the designers where they came from. You know what I'm saying? And I used to love it. I used to love it. I used to really, really love it. Um, I used to. I can't. I couldn't. I couldn't wait to get them in the mail. You know, I couldn't wait to read them, and I never discarded them because I knew that sometimes if I want to buy some of those clothes, if I want to buy some of those colognes, if I want to rock what Kobe was rocking with the basketball and the suit, you know what I'm saying? Um, if I want to buy that suit, then I'll have to refer back to GQ Magazine to get it, you know? Um, and I subscribed, I subscribed for years. It was, a, it was a yearly subscription, you know? And it was a man's magazine. It was, it was not only a man's magazine, it's a man with fashions magazine, you know? Man with that love fashion, man that love cool stuff, man that love to rock the cool watches, man that love to rock, or rock the cool, the cool, uh, the, the, the cool stuff. Good morning. The cool stuff, they were to rock the cool stuff. We used to go, you know what I'm saying? Man that loved, man, man's man. It was for, you know, heterosexual man. You know, and other man, I love to rock the cool stuff. I used to see the cool stuff so that you can see what's coming up for the new year and then you can rock it, right? And then fast forward to now, I just got this article. You can see the thumbnail. Kim Kardashian is now man of the year. How is Kim Kardashian of the man of the year? You guys are done in the West. They can't find any man to be man of the year. 
they made Kim Kardashian man of the year. And then they wrote mother of four. What? Oh, y'all done in the West. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Most of you watching this video, most men will not become passport bros because of various reasons. But man, y'all need to work hard to get out of the West, man. Yeah, y'all just done. There's no room. There's no room for you anymore, man. There's no respect. There's no room. Nothing. You got to get out of the West. For that, for GQ Magazine. And I, of course, I don't, I don't subscribe to GQ Magazine anymore. It's sad. I still like fashion. But it's, be, I mean, it's become woke. All these companies have become woke. All these companies are telling you, man, that they, they, they don't respect you. They don't need you, they don't, they don't respect you. And it's sad. And you know what's funny? A couple of years ago, Caitlyn Jenner became woman of the year. Good morning, Kim, woman of the year. How did Caitlyn Jenner become woman of the year, which is a man, and then Kim Kardashian, years later, become GQ Magazine man of the year? That's effed up, man. And if y'all don't wanna leave the West, they keep giving you more reasons to leave. More evidence, more reasons to leave the world. And it's crazy. It's crazy. You know? So you guys need to plan on getting out of the West. You need to get the heck out of the West. It is bad. Hello. Where's, where's the breakfast? Look, this is, this, is what, this is what we do when we greet. How are you? Yeah. It's over there? Yes, sir. What are they serving for breakfast? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Yes, sir. Okay. It better be something nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, done. They got a boat out here. You can take that boat in the water. They're serving, they're serving breakfast over there. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all a little bit of this, man. Why well, y'all want Kim Kardashian to be y'all man of the year? Let me show y'all. See that? You see that? Do you see that? You can have breakfast here. You can chill here. I was here all the way. I was here late till the morning. You know? This is it, man. This is a resort. This is a, and this is like, this is on the Atlantic Ocean, right? But it's, it's far away. It's far from the city, right? I'm on the Atlantic Ocean, far away from the city in a six acre resort that has everything. And it's not like a high rise or anything. It's hot. It's 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 nature. They're built around the they're built around the palm trees. You see all these palm trees? They're built around them. They didn't they didn't they didn't knock any of them down. They're built around them. I met the owner last night. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. We got patriarchy here in Nigeria man. Real patriarchy. Ain't no women man of the year over here, man. I promise you, ain't, that ain't happening over here in Africa. Ain't no woman is a man of the year in Africa. I can guarantee you that. It's so sad, man. I used to love GQ magazine. I used to get them, I used to get that thing, open it up, open the part where the cologne is, smell it, and I used to put it, put it on my body. When I couldn't, uh, when they when they had the expensive three hundred dollar cologne, I used to freaking put that stuff in my body. Went out one time and they were like giving me compliments. Is that what are you wearing? So so, so cologne, damn, that's nice. You know what I'm saying? Y'all over here making Kim Kardashian man of the year. Yeah, it's effed up. It's effed up. That's never gonna happen in Africa. If you re if you really want to take your life back. If you really want to get away from all this BS wokeness and all the stupidity that's going on in the West, you you have to leave. You have to leave and you have to leave to somewhere where you, your place, you need to find your place. You, you don't have to go to Colombia. You, you don't have to go to, to Thai, Thailand. You, you don't have to go where everybody else is going. You can go find your place, you know? Oh, this is what? Ah, damn. Ah, shoot. Find your place. You know? Find your country. Find a place where, you know, you can get the most out of what you're doing. The most out of your dollar. Find a place where men are still respected. 
and women are still respected to be a woman not a woman respected to be a man how the heck is is kim kardashian gq magazine man of the year i would never i would never touch a gq magazine my life I, if you if you give me a gq magazine for free i wouldn't even touch it i won't touch a gq magazine ever again i don't have to i don't even live in the west so they can't really send them to me even if, if they can send them to me i don't want to I'm done with GQ. Any woke company in America, I'm done with them. And I can easily be done with them because I, I don't live in the West anymore. I live in a non-Western country. I live in a developing country. I live in a country where if you're a man, you're respected to be a man. And you, and you are expected. You are respected and expected to be a man. You're not expected to be, and respected to be a woman. You're not given awards to be bravest women bravest woman alive and, 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 and woman of the year just as a man turned to a woman you know what I'm saying like Bruce Jenner and, and, and respected as a woman GQ magazine man of the year I, whatever they're trying to do in the west and you guys don't see it they keep giving you evidence after evidence after evidence of why you need to leave the west as a man I don't care if you're white, black you have to leave the West as a man. You just have to leave. And they keep showing you. They keep showing you. They keep showing you. They, like, I spent so much money on GQ magazines. I had subscription for GQ magazines at least 10 years straight. Yes. I, I subscribed to GQ magazine for a, for, for a decade. More than a decade. And this is how they pay me with my money. By, by making Kim Kardashian man of the year. They can't find any man to be man of the year. All those men in America, they can't find now one man. It's Kim Kardashian that's the ma GQ magazine man of the year. It's effed up. And y'all still over there in the West pointing fingers at us. Y'all still doing videos on TikTok. Y'all still, oh, I'm not going to go. Uh, women are the same there. Uh, life is the same there. No, no, it's not. You can give yourself any excuse you want. But they made a woman man of the year. That's a slap in your face if you still live in the West. That's a slap in the face. So guys, I'm done. I'm done with this topic, man. Like, subscribe onto, an, onto another video. Uh, thank you for those that have done the consultation, right? My email is in the link in the bio. If you want to support the channel, my Cash App, Venmo. We're going to the end of the year. Your goal for the end towards the end of the year is to get your passport. And if you already have your passport, your goal for the Christmas period is to find somewhere to go and have your Christmas. You see the ocean behind me? That's the Atlantic Ocean. Your goal is to go somewhere for Christmas. Go somewhere for Christmas. Find somewhere to go for Christmas. You have to. You, you have to. Travel somewhere, take a trip. I don't care if it's somewhere close or, or far. Take a trip, enjoy yourself, get out of the West. Start spending your money in countries and places and companies that respect you as a man. Stop slapping yourself in the face, even though they're already slapping you in the face. All right, peace out guys. Like, subscribe, share this video. We need more men to see this. We need more men to see these articles. We need more men to see our point of view. We don't agree with this mess. And the ways that we can show them we don't agree with this mess is to remove ourselves. First of all, don't spend your money with those companies. I would never buy a GQ magazine ever make again. Secondly, the West. Just start preparing yourself to leave the West, period. That's it. Peace out, guys.